unsere Führung im Enchanted Farm von Gawad Kalinga fängt jetzt an. Orientation are a grade fertig. Haben wir ein bisschen erklärt bekommen, was wir hier so machen und warum? Afternoon. Mm -hmm. We have two schools today. There are lots of buses inside. Mm -hmm. yeah, one is the uh, all boys school, and one is mix. Mm -hmm. So, the uh, vanilla firm on Sunday, the Pelacon, the Bangkat. Yes, we are not to jump the sea. Uh, my name is Ron. I'm 24. Uh, welcome to the Enchanted Farm. So today I'll be touring you around the Enchanted Farm, some of the important areas. This mm -hmm. is a uh, 42 hectare farm and now but the but the whole uh, productive area is just 31 hectare but we'll not be going around mm -hmm. uh, those areas because mm -hmm. that's really huge it will take us the whole day mm -hmm. it's really hot today so uh, before we start you know where enchanted farm is located in Bulacan, Bulacan. Oh, you yeah. know the name of barangay? Uh, Encanto, I Encanto. heard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's Encanto. When we when you hear the word Encanto, it's in uh, Visaya also. It's enchanted and fairies. Encantas are fairies. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and mm -hmm. yeah, in Bulacan, you term Encantos are those mythical creatures. There yes. are white mm -hmm. There are capres. Mm -hmm. or, uh, ah. The the ogre-like creature. Okay. The smoking tobacco. Uh -huh. Yeah. And. <laughs> Many more like there's Manananggal, there's mm -hmm. the Palang, the Half Horse, Half Human. Oh, okay. yeah. The 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 Barangay Encanto is named after those creatures before because mm -hmm. uh, in olden days uh, my grandfather used to used to tell me that there are lots of those creatures here. Mm -hmm. And another thing, this Barangay is actually one of the most avoided place in Bulacan. Ah, the Be people are afraid. Yeah, not <laughs> just not because of those mythical creatures, but mm -hmm. uh, to the uh, rebel groups like ah, MTAs, mm -hmm. because this place, specifically mm -hmm. this one, used to be the home of uh, those uh, rebel groups like MTAs. Mm -hmm. yeah, I live outside the farm, just mm -hmm. one hour walk, mm -hmm. and it's a mountainous area. Mm -hmm. There are lots of forests mm -hmm. there, mm -hmm. and people, uh, those military groups, rebel groups, used to live there. Mm -hmm. When I was a kid, I used to see them. Ah. Like they are like. I thought they were armies. Mm -hmm. like they stayed at our house and there are lots of guns and everything. Uh, they had on uniforms also? Yeah, they uh, have okay. those, but I thought they were armies. <laughs> some kind of Muslims? No. Uh, not really. Abu Sayyaf? No, 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 that's no. only in the south. There are lots of like, rebel groups, the NPA or the New People's Army. They're New like People's like Army, that's pro, uh, something different. Yeah, they're like mm -hmm. the pro-communism mm -hmm. group. This is more for communism. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. yeah, and they used to live here, but now uh, this place is actually safe. Okay. As you can see, we don't mm -hmm. have uh, like fences here, mm -hmm. and anyone mm -hmm. can join. But mm -hmm. the communities, uh, some of them are, as I think you mentioned, some of them came from those uh, backgrounds. Mm -hmm. Some oh, of okay. them came from the uh, slums community mm -hmm. around Bulacan. And they don't when did they them. surrender? When did they uh, stop being uh, rebels? Ah. Some of them joined Gawad Kalinga, but yeah. some of them are still. They are still yeah, in the mountains. Not here, ah, not here. Yeah, not oh, okay. here anymore. Mm -hmm. Some of them joined other mm -hmm. groups. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but yeah, mm -hmm. definitely not in uh, Luzon. Okay, no longer in Luzon. Yeah. Now somewhere in the south, uh, Sulu yes. and so. Okay. Somewhere mm -hmm. in the south, but mm -hmm. in Mindanao there's this uh, continuing mm -hmm. uh, martial law, so yes. the, the mm -hmm. government or the military are the one taking care of. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but here it is safer. And before, if you uh, if you've heard of the orientation earlier, this mm -hmm. place is actually literally have nothing before this yes, is a wasteland land. what's what's a wasteland it's a wasteland uh, the 
the the builders in Manila, there's mm -hmm. this mall in Manila, actually mm -hmm. the biggest mall in mm -hmm. the Philippines, the Mall of Asia. Ah, mm -hmm. yeah, used to get all the topsoil here. Oh, and there was no more topsoil. Topsoil. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Before okay. this place is actually Rocks. really muddy. Uh -huh, muddy. Uh -huh. Yes, okay. and the uh, the soil is really acidic that you can't plant oh. a single tree here. So, oh, yeah, okay. it took us our two years just to reconstruct the soil, add mm -hmm. uh, nutrients here to bring back the mm -hmm. the balance of the soil. And now, mm -hmm. it's here. This is larger, yeah. lots of greens, there are okay. lots of bamboos. Mm -hmm. There are lots of different fruits mm -hmm. and animals and mm -hmm. plants growing mm -hmm. uh, in this farm. Mm -hmm. and, but there are still enchanted creatures. So there are still <laughs> white ladies here. There are okay. still fairies, but uh -huh. they speak French. Okay. Ah! <laughs> So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> if okay. you see some of them walking yeah. there, yeah. there are French people here with yeah. care of animals who have yeah. students to make uh -huh. carabao cheese. Ah, okay. They're the ones who work with the students here. Uh -huh. yeah. they are, and they're mostly from fr uh, France. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, because uh, French people are mm -hmm. one of the first volunteers of Gawad Kalinga okay. alongside mm -hmm. with Singaporeans. So mm -hmm. they are the ones who build the first GK community in Manila, mm -hmm. in Bagong Silang. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. and this is place. This mm -hmm. place is actually our garden area. This is Yunday, mm -hmm. uh, Yunday Center for Green Innovation. So this mm -hmm. building was built in partnership with that com car company. Mm -hmm. GK is actually partnering with hundreds of uh, corporations mm -hmm. and companies. Mm -hmm. So we welcome everyone who really wants to help, who really mm -hmm. wants to join. Mm -hmm. uh, this mission to end poverty okay. for mm -hmm. Filipino families. Okay. So mm -hmm. we have partners like different banks partnering with us together, the yeah. rival banks, <laughs> rival car companies, uh, okay. rival uh, culinary school, okay. and and different school as well. Mm -hmm. Actually, there is a school inside that, mm -hmm. that called a uh, seed. So mm -hmm. that's the school for experiential and entrepreneurial development. I actually graduated from that school. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're from the first batch, so we're technically the guinea pigs. Of okay, the ah, nice. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. But now uh, they have graduated three batches already, and there mm -hmm. are two more batches studying social entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. Okay. And there's also a community. Uh, one of the communities uh, here in Bulacan. So mm -hmm. there are about more than 50 GK communities here just in Bulacan. But oh. in the whole Philippines, there's more than 3,000 mm -hmm. communities. So mm -hmm. some are big, some are small. Mm -hmm. And then there's also farms. So whatever we consume here, mm -hmm. uh, the Enchanted Farm, we make sure we know how to plant them. Mm -hmm. We know how to process them actually to turn it into a product. Mm -hmm. So that goes to the, another point. There's There are also social enterprises here. Mm -hmm. So are you familiar with social enterprises? Have you heard the term before? I heard, yes. Yep. Uh -huh. Uh, what do you have an idea? What are uh, you work with the people uh, who are in the community, and yes, uh -huh. and you provide um, yeah uh, so that they have uh, their uh, livelihood. Yeah, yes, that's yeah. Very mm -hmm. Good, actually, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. This is how we define it here mm -hmm. in Enchanted Farm. Yeah. That the 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 bottom line of every business yeah. not just profit. It's actually yeah. the impact or the 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 things that you will actually do to mm -hmm. help the community mm -hmm. or the environment as well. Yes. So mm -hmm. today we'll be seeing some of the social enterprises. Mm -hmm. uh, there are lots of social enterprises who started here and now mm -hmm. they're out in the market mm -hmm. and they move out because they have expanded their business. Mm -hmm. So once they're actually big enough, they they'll be moving out. Yes. So I saw about like, these toys, this uh, yeah. yeah stuff toys yeah, and uh, with the uh, uh, cosmetic also. So human nature cosmetics, yes. Yeah. So this, <laughs> okay. This is uh, mm -hmm. this serves as also the incubation area for ah. those ideas. For okay. Social, mm -hmm. uh, enterprise. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this one, mm -hmm. you could see the architecture. This yes, is of bamboo of mm -hmm. and, and bamboo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is actually a very Filipino architecture ah, yeah, mm -hmm. and also very environment friendly. Mm -hmm. So we use glasses. And Nipa. Is that Nipa? Yes, these yeah. are mm -hmm. Nipa. These mm -hmm. are coconut leaves mm -hmm. uh, arranged like that. Mm -hmm. So we also use glasses mm -hmm. uh, to 
for us to have light even without electricity. Ah, Sorry, okay. Mm -hmm. electricity. You, le you learn mm -hmm. from uh, from the bamboo farm in um, Na Bamboo Bambu University? No, I don't uh, think so. Uh, no, no, that's but it's it's, it's local. It's similar. Yeah, yes. it looks similar. The architecture is actually yeah. made out of bamboo. We yeah. don't use concrete before. Yeah, we only use concrete during the Spanish period. Yeah. Because the ones who bring adobe. I mean, uh, nah, this is no yeah. It looks like those because mm -hmm. uh, we are sharing the same uh, Malayan race. Yeah, yeah. So Malayan race are the Southeast mm -hmm. Asian people. Mm -hmm. Whatever we grow in the Philippines actually grows in Southeast Asia. Yes. Actually, Southeast mm -hmm. Asia is one uh, is the area or the hub of the mm -hmm. is the place in the earth actually who has the greatest biodiversity. So mm -hmm. we are. The, Philippines is the second mm -hmm. with the highest biodiversity. Mm -hmm. We can grow any types of plants That's good, and animals yeah. here mm -hmm. in the Philippines, especially like bamboo. And mm -hmm. It's very abundant here. Mm -hmm. So the Filipino architectures are now uh, finding different ways to mm -hmm. use this uh, this gold that we have. Mm -hmm. have yes, in it's place. also durable if you uh, put something that uh, are against yeah. termites or Varnish. something yes yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. actually there are mm. bamboos that are more uh, stronger than steel yes and they're there more are flexible yeah mm -hmm. yeah there are mm. more than 30 species of bamboo yes that you can find inside the enchanted park. 30 pieces wow uh, species uh, a species there are yeah different color mm. size yeah. there are pink yeah, you can see here yellow. <laughs> that's yellow that's there green are gold there mm -hmm. are black uh -huh. oh, different cool. colors of okay. bamboo Okay. Mm -hmm. Different places. Mm -hmm. So this place, uh, this is where we uh, we usually held our social global social business summit. Mm -hmm. So this is a gathering that promotes uh, social businesses mm -hmm. and things that supports a community mm -hmm. and empowers people as well. This is where. President uh, Aquino spoke twice. Ah, okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's actually when the Enchanted Farm was built. Uh, this is that's the first time Bulacan uh, ever visited by a president. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Before, because mm -hmm. they know that it's safer now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and more and more people are yes. now going to this place. Yes. Yeah, uh -huh. That is once uh, being avoided. By okay. Them. So like, we, can Let, we can move. Okay. Yeah, and if you have questions, don't yeah. hesitate to ask. Yeah, okay. mm -hmm. If someone has an idea for a social entrepreneurship, uh, what's the what's uh, what they have to do to join Gawad Kalinga? Oh, we also we also can if you are if you are interested in building your own social enterprise, you can yeah. actually join. We are conducting a social business camp every month. Ah. Uh, yeah, you could visit the Facebook page of the Enchanted Farm or okay. email mm -hmm. the persons that you're, you're, you emailed last time. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. You're asking what is oh, yeah. a Mekpis Bakery earlier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so they're, they're closed. Actually, they're baking early in the morning and ah. they deliver it to their clients. So mm -hmm. Mekpis Bakery is one of the startup social enterprises. They're yeah. very young. They're about one and a half years old. Ah, mm -hmm. yeah. In the Enchanted Farm. So this big shop is actually teaching the out of school youth how to bake. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And and not just they are teaching them the skills, but also they are teaching them how to manage a business mm -hmm. like this, so that they could actually uh, own this branch. Yeah, uh, so they can soon. start their own yes. uh, mm. branch. It was, uh -huh. yeah, it, okay. it was started by a couple, Ansh and Yoke. They are both uh, baker, mm -hmm. so they really want to help the out of school youth. So they started it here, mm -hmm. and the goal is actually put uh, make this bakery in every GK communities as ah, well and teach the out of school youth. Okay, yeah. what kind of bread do they bake? They bread. I uh, they bake every type of bre uh, bread. They actually bake. Baguette mm. before. Baguette. Yeah, oh, these okay. Are like the French uh -huh. people. Yes, really yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. They have this pan of chocolate. Really ah, good. okay. And some uh, Filipino twisted uh, uh -huh. breads as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. so ah. Make this And croissant also. Yeah. Ah, they, <laughs> they, they baked it before. <laughs> but actually, there are French interns who actually. Teach the kids how to oh. bake those. Ah, okay. Yeah, we have like chefs mm -hmm. from from 
Brad, so actually teach the student. Okay. Uh -huh. To learn how to bake uh, German pretzels. <laughs> <laughs> you need a we German, like German, have, <laughs> German baker. <laughs> I'm not a baker in German. I eat pretzels a lot. Not knowing how to bake. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. There are already bakeries here in Philippines. Uh, I know there is one in Olangapo. Olangapo. Yeah, oh yeah, I've been uh, there. The, mm -hmm. the owner is a Swiss guy, and he has a, another one, I believe, in Angeles. Oh yeah. And yeah, yeah. he Angeles delivers a German or European bread to. Oh yeah. If you're oh, familiar yeah. with the French baker, he's actually one of the suppliers. Ah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay. Um, maybe we could start here. Okay. Because there are mm -hmm. lots of people. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is uh, where the chickens come from. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> so this place is actually starting to develop now but mm -hmm. because of the students so they are the ones planting this and what they every day okay the morning before they go to school ah they actually planted so much <laughs> <laughs> yes but it's a garden now of how many this is less than a year them as social uh, entrepreneur and go back to their communities to actually help uh, mm -hmm. the communities as well. So they, mm -hmm. they're into different industries. Some are doing... And they're all scholars? Yes. Ah, okay. Yes. Wow. Okay. Yes. Some of them are doing mm -hmm. uh, doing food and beverage. Some mm -hmm. of them are doing textile through pineapple. Ah. Uh, there are some that are pursuing culinary arts. Uh, mm -hmm. Some are, want to build their own restaurants. Some mm -hmm. are want to... Uh, to do farming and like mm -hmm. process uh, mm -hmm. raw materials into plant. So whatever mm -hmm. we grow here, there's actually a garden at the back of the school, mm -hmm. and on the side we'll be going there after the mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> uh, so whatever we plant here, we actually consume it in our kitchen. Is that cocoa? Yeah. There's, yes. There's, mm -hmm. There are lots of chocolate mm -hmm. tree actually yeah. at the back of the kitchen. Ah. So, okay. Yeah, during mm -hmm. my batch, we were the ones who was watering it every ah. day. And some of them are <laughs> big already. Yeah. yeah. Are, are starting to bear fruit. So they're and very to, good. Like, I'm really, really happy like to see them having fruits uh -huh. like those. No, I actually good. ate one of their cocoa pods uh -huh. uh, uh -huh. a couple of days ago. And no, it's really, really good. good. <laughs> so yeah. how long did it take until they bear fruit? Uh, it depends on the species, but mm -hmm. normally it takes three to five years. Three to five years, yeah. okay. The ones, they, they are already five years old. Okay, so because we are planning season. we are planning to plant uh, fruit trees in Bohol. Yeah. On oh, my, yeah, that, on my grandparents' place. Yes, yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. This has nothing to do with chocolate. Yeah. That's the kogon grass. Yeah. yeah. No, now we'll be making sense. <laughs> <laughs> so we want to yes. start plan, uh, uh, to, to, uh, to make a farm some. there also. Yeah. And in five years, he will uh, go to pension. Yeah. Also, to, uh, he'll be in his pension oh. uh, years already, oh, and then we can, yeah, there. then we yeah, can stay can there. Really so that's why we will start to plant, so wow. that we can harvest in uh, five years. Yeah, <laughs> I, I want to go there. <laughs> yes. Then you can visit yeah. us. Uh, yeah, actually, mm -hmm. Bulacan mm -hmm. being one of actually the hottest province in the Philippines. Ah, yeah, okay. next to Tagigarao, mm -hmm. there's Tagigarao, Cabanatuan City, and there's Bulacan. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. Is actually not a site for growing chocolate trees, but okay. here the enchanted farm we're able to grow them. Yeah, because maybe they're already shadow and it's more yeah. cooler now. And there mm -hmm. are social enterprises that process chocolate from wow. bean to bar. Okay. And they are actually a world class chocolate. They actually mm -hmm. went to France before. Mm -hmm. And uh, learned it there how to make chocolate? I uh, know. Mm -hmm. They were invited by French people ah, to, okay. in an event and they mm -hmm. have this bunch of chocolate oh. that's just sold. Less than an hour. Wow. <laughs> yeah, okay. Because it's it's really really weird that uh -huh. we are Filipinos like to buy Toblerone. Yes. From other countries. Yes. But the reality is the chocolate bean that they're using is coming from some, from the Philippines or from Africa. Yeah, Africa. Yeah, yeah, Africa. Yeah, the, our problem is we have uh, no milk. You need milk for chocolate. Yeah. Don't you? We have uh -huh. lots of. We actually mm -hmm. export. 
uh, our chocolate, uh, cocoa, beans. Yeah, yeah, beans. percent of our harvest in the mm. Philippines mm -hmm. to, do, to mm. the countries that doesn't grow mm -hmm. any single cacao tree. Yes, yes. Because cacao tree only grows in equatorial. Yes, belt. only in the tropics. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Same as the coffee. Yeah, yeah, same, same as, as coffee. coffee yeah. But we exported them and buy a Toblerone. Yeah. yeah, and very expensive. <laughs> yeah, that's why social enterprises are yeah. This 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 garden this Okra. is extended up to there and was built by the students here. Yeah, yeah so and mulch. Look, you have to mulch so that it doesn't evaporate a lot of water. Yes, that's yes. very important. Really <laughs> <laughs> <It's> good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it's also when it decomposes, it serves as fertilizer. Yeah, we that's very use, good. We actually mm -hmm. produce our own pesticide and insecticide out of different herbs and spices. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You have and neem plus. here. Yes, we have neem tree, but we uh, don't usually use uh, those. We use other, like marigold, we use chili, uh -huh. we use uh, madre de cacao. Okay. It's actually good mm -hmm. uh, insect repellent. And we plant flowers here to, at yes. to attract uh -huh. pollinators. Mm -hmm. and the uh, that's good. So okay. Some of, so the, some of the vegetables only. here we already harvested. And mm -hmm. Uh, being cooked in the kitchen. Ah, okay. So whatever we consume here, the students actually you produce this yourself. And it's alive earlier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. So you don't buy anything from outside, or we source some mm -hmm. of the crops or livestock mm -hmm. that we don't grow here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because the population of this place is actually bigger <laughs> than what you grow. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. But soon we'll be learning how to plant other crops from the highlands okay grow. Mm -hmm. so the students are the ones also build their greenhouses wow <laughs> so sit and greenhouse house yeah. mm -hmm. there are herbs in mm -hmm. yeah there are teas mm -hmm. here because there are students who actually make teas ah, as their product okay mm. wow so it's also very good to have a flat gewässer irgendwie aufbauen can the fish farm can say of a fin fall Tilapia, yeah. Mm -hmm. What's this? Oregano? That's an Italian. Mm -hmm. Oregano. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Oregano. Good for pasta. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> so, there are tea leaves here. Tea leaves. Oh, That's a steel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Basil. We have mm. basil there. Basil is there. These okay. are green peas. This is. Mm -hmm. the what is this? This is. Uh, I forgot. Uh, this, we call it as insulin plant. Ah, yeah. this is insulin uh, plant. Insulin plant. Okay. But this this one is uh, actually one of the species of ginger. Uh, ginger, also uh, yeah. uh, ingwa, ingwa zote. Mm -hmm. And this is good to lower your insulin, yes? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Scientists are now studying this plant. Okay. This is Did Coca-Cola. This is also for tea. Oh, for tea. also for tea. Okay. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm actually the first guy in the public ah. ever finished high school and wow. study college. Okay. So, no matter how hard they work mm -hmm. on the fields, day in, day out, with this back breaking work, yeah. mm -hmm. they can't even support their families. That's the problem. Uh, enough mm -hmm. meals for the day. Mm -hmm. Yes, because uh, they, they were like brainwashed to use this pesticide. Mm -hmm. It's actually using hybrid. Uh, plants actually even more worse. Yeah. Because you can you can produce your your, your seedlings. Your seedlings yeah. And mm -hmm. they're actually dependent from chemical. Yeah, and they have to buy every actually, every yeah, year new to, seeds. Yeah. yeah that's the really mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this place, pala, is the first uh, function hall. Ah. The farm. This is where the community gathers mm -hmm. during their house builds. Mm -hmm. So the community alongside with the partners and the volunteers are the ones who build their houses. Mm -hmm. So they don't know which house would be awarded for them. Ah, yeah, so okay. They will be doing it. And another mm -hmm. thing is half of uh, the day they, they're building their houses and half of the day during at, up, at afternoon they'll be gathering here to mm -hmm. do various formation mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. because it's not sustainable if you just get the people from other places and just put it here mm -hmm. you have to teach them how to do uh, values formation you have to improve their values so that they can actually live together yes so mm -hmm. before uh, whenever the communities communities have problems mm -hmm. with each other with their neighbors they'll be uh, 
going to the management team to ask for help. Uh, they, they have a mediator who oh, helped yes, to, uh, yes, that okay. was before, but ah. now they've come up with community uh -huh. leaders. Okay. They're the ones holding their own problems. Okay. Now, and mm -hmm. they're actually uh, now independent. So, mm -hmm. and another thing that Jawad Kalinga uh, did for the community to thrive is actually the they put the the opportunities just near the communities. Okay. So the mothers here are the ones cooking in the kitchen. Ah, okay. Uh, the ones making peanut butter. They're the ones uh, stitching some stuffed toys. Okay. And they're the ones making uh, peanut butter and other products as well. Mm -hmm. So they don't have to go too far. Yeah. So they, they live actually, here and they work yeah, here. That's very good. They're actually so. working inside their houses mm -hmm. while taking care of their kids. They're That's very good. Okay, <laughs> and their kids learn also when they are little, when yes. they watch. <laughs> yes. yes, and this mm -hmm. actually, this hall is the money peso. This talks about mm -hmm. uh, this, the, the story of Gawad, how Gawad Kalina started and mm -hmm. the mission uh, mm -hmm. and ending the So I'll give you time to mm -hmm. actually read some of the lines here. If you want, you can actually take pictures. I'll take pictures of it, mm -hmm. then I can read later. So the thing is here. Manifesto 2 uh, And who is the sponsor? Mm -hmm. Who are the donors of the community? There are uh, GK communities made by Unilag mm. There are made by other human nature mm -hmm. BMW villages. Mm -hmm. There are lots of different communities, and the style of the houses are uh, really, really different from each other. Okay. It depends on the place where it's located. When okay. it's located near the seashores, the okay. design of the house will be, will be different. Okay. Yeah, it depends on uh, the the including of GK is actually uh, making sure that uh, the communities that they're building is really adapted mm -hmm. or safe for the people living here. Mm -hmm. So here, uh, the people here are actually the ones who are uh, processing the, the raw materials mm -hmm. uh, of the social enterprises. For example, this one, this is Bayani Bu Bayani Bu Food Laboratory. So food is, Laboratory. Yes, this mm -hmm. is where we do... A brew! A beer! Uh, no, this is uh, a tea. A tea? Made okay. out of lemongrass ah. and sweet potato leaves and pandan yeah. and lemon seed. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And it's okay. actually out in the market. You can okay. actually find it in different depart uh, supermarkets like Rustans. Okay. You can actually find it in the airport. Mm -hmm. This brand actually started here as a hot tea. Mm -hmm. So during the build, the house builds of the community, mm -hmm. the mothers are uh, brewing this Tea, okay. This concoction uh -huh. and give this to their husbands and ah. say, to Tony, the founder, <laughs> okay. to drink while they're having a rest. Uh -huh. uh, but is there alcohol in there or without? Oh uh, no, no, no alcohol. This is okay. A pure uh, tea leaves. Uh, ah, okay, just like a lemonade, leaves. like yeah, a lemonade. Like a lemonade. Uh, okay. Before mm -hmm. it was very bad, and mm -hmm. now they bottle it and make it into a cold tea ready to ah, okay. Yeah, Bayani really, really brew. Huge now. Okay. They've been producing 100,000 bottles per month. Wow! And okay. it's actually growing every year. So mm -hmm. they've extended their production outside. So ah. they are doing tall manufacturing as well. Okay. Already. Mm -hmm. But the recipe started from the two nanas. From here? Two nanas? Uh -huh. Tita Linda and Tita Yoli. It's okay. Uh, the house here, the one with the roof in the middle. Ah, in the middle. House here okay. and the next house there. Okay. And there are still living there? Yeah, they're ah, still okay. living here. They're the ones who started the, the, <laughs> the, the recipe and okay. the Kuya Shannon, the CEO of the farm, mm -hmm. alongside with their friends, Ati mm -hmm. Chilka and Kuya Ron, mm -hmm. they make it into a social enterprise. Wow. So whatever okay. they consume here, they mm -hmm. buy it in the enchanted farm, like the lemon grass before. Mm -hmm. It's actually treated as literally as like grass. Because oh. it, it has no value before. Yes, and now it's valuable because yeah. of this brew. Okay. Because it's, it's like 12 <laughs> pesos per kilo, yeah. but people actually don't buy it because they can plant it and use it for it. Yes, and it That's, grows like weed. Yeah, <laughs> you don't need to, really, really to maintain it. To maintain it. <laughs> yeah. And even the, the pandan, mm. we actually don't buy it before. Mm -hmm. But now they can sell it up to 90 pesos per kilo for pandan. Mm -hmm. 
50 pesos for lemon grass. And it's okay. actually a big help for the farmers. Yeah, but pandan is like a big palm tree, yes? Ah, or what, what, no, what, we what have is? a local pandan here. Ah, okay. You, can see you mm -hmm. We normally put it on the rice because it smells really yes, good. Yes, yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. but it's actually really, really good. Um, uh, it's only a small shrub? There oh. are different species. Oh, the species okay. that you actually see yeah. near the oceans are yeah. also pandan, but they grow like yeah, they're giant. Big. Yeah, and they uh -huh. like bear fruits that looks like pineapple. Yeah, yeah. But not that. But also not that, that one. Okay, the, okay. The small the smaller. green one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I hope we can see. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, but there are lots of that here. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so where they come. If you will, you will actually see that uh, the business but mm -hmm. doesn't know how but doesn't have the skills to work on the raw materials so ah. they partner together to, to actually so the, the, the okay mm -hmm. yeah. and so yeah social entrepreneurs the producer and the manager combine and yes, then and okay. they actually treat mm -hmm. them as partners not okay. farmers not okay the laborers of the company okay yeah. and if you, you will not be uh, if you will notice actually there are lots mm -hmm. of japanese here they Japanese study, ah. study ah. here is studying English here. At the ah, yeah. okay. There's yes. this uh, social enterprise called Palet. They mm -hmm. teaches the out of school youth on how mm -hmm. to teach English to. Uh, ah, that's also an ed entrepreneur uh, business. Yes. Uh, that uh, English yes. teaching. Yes. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. But the founders are Japanese. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Really, really good. That's good. Yeah. They've been here since the start, actually. Mm hmm caramel. Oi. Really, really good. Uh-huh. Yeah. First harvest, okay? We can actually taste it when we go back, but there are lots of students here. Okay. Yeah, but the recipe started with the mothers as with well. With the mothers, the okay. For every Christmas season, mm -hmm. we'll be making peanut butter and like package it in a plastic container with orange cup and ah. they sell it at a cheap price but okay. the agent, the social entrepreneur they said it once and they said that it's really good so and they bring I... it in, in the houses in the families and like less than an hour the peanut butter is gone <laughs> okay and very was, good so, and they, they had this idea why don't we make it into yeah. a social entrepreneur and so now they here. sell that in stores yeah, also they sold, uh, during the season they've been they sell uh, last year they they sell one million bottles wow okay yeah and they're actually on a very very <laughs> hectic schedule in production now. okay we went here last night to help them like put stickers <laughs> in their bottles wow. so everything's yeah, manufactured uh, yeah yeah and handmade yeah the nana is the the mothers are the ones cooking them. Okay. And it's really, really good. Oh, let us oh, taste. They can, uh, they can taste. Mm -hmm. Yep. Are you allergic to peanuts? No, no, no. We are not allergic. Okay, okay. <laughs> we have no allergy. Can we look inside how yes, they do I, it? I don't know if we can enter. Yeah. This is yeah. Oh, yeah. I think we can. Hello. Hi. Hello, Carla. Pwede ng tumatap. Dalawa lang kami. Yeah. Ah. Oh, nice. Oh, look. Yeah. They have this uh, um, cashew butter. Mm -hmm. Cashew. Yeah, the cashews are coming from Palawan. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, mm -hmm. and they have this salted cocoa caramel. It's not too sweet because they added salt so that it's really not too strong. Okay. Strong sweet. And they have peanut spread. This is the classic one. This is mm -hmm. honey sweetened. Mm -hmm. With honey. Okay. Yeah. Not with sugar. Yeah. They okay. Eat sugar. And we also have the healthier one. This is with, with cocoa, cocoa sugar. sugar. Okay. Yeah. Then we use coconut soft sugar. Can we buy some of those to yeah. take with us? Yeah. yeah. You can actually oh. buy. You can actually ah, buy. Ah, that. Okay. Yeah. That's easier to bring. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I and think we'll get, get this package. Okay. Okay. We can actually buy it. Oi. Tikaw lang ang spoon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nay, may kusara na kayo? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, po. Mm-hmm. So, I believe we take it when we come back. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We can, so, or we I can, can buy back. and then we can let it here. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think we could buy it on our way. On our way back. Okay. Uh, I want a big one. Ah, uh, this one. <laughs> Hindi kami pagbalik. Mm-hmm. I think I'm trying to show you. Mm-hmm. Nipo. Ay. 
Uh, 160 plus 150 plus 230. Uh, 540 po ito. Uh, no, we can taste it outside. Okay. Moment to browse with a nine left. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. I want something. Yeah. Finger. Mmm. Okay. Mm. And those make those are good. Night. Ah, for yeah. let's let's tena. Yeah, mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. It's actually fresh. Mm -hmm. Good. Chinese. Ah, okay. She's actually a social entrepreneur as well. Mm -hmm. yeah, she's the one making the the carabao milk ice cream. Ah, okay. okay. <laughs> nice. So they m met here. Yeah, they actually most of the couples here. <laughs> entrepreneurs met. Met in here. GK. In GK. Yeah. <laughs> Very yeah. good. There are a lot of couples here who are social entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. they, just, they just met. <laughs> if not working in a social enterprise, they work full time in GK. Okay. Like, they heading the feeding program. Mm -hmm. Doing the volunteer something. Silk Enterprise. Cook. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. so yeah, oh, it's closed. Uh, no one here. Yeah, but uh -huh. I don't know if you can see. So you uh, you can breed s silk here yeah, also. Take care of silk. Oh, but silkworm inside. Actually. So you have mulberry mulberry trees here. No, we don't <laughs> take care of mulberry silk. Ah, okay. Because, uh, they they grow only in cold climate. Ah, okay. Climate. So what to defeat uh, the? We have we take care silkworms? of every silk here. Every silk. Ah, and the Asian type of silk. Ah, so they are, okay. They can grow in like hot climate countries. Mm -hmm. And what to defeat? What kind of uh, plants? To be surprised, they're eating cassava leaves. Cassava. <laughs> On your ears. Yes, every everywhere. Cassava yeah. grows everywhere. Cassava <laughs> uh, they the, eat the, cassava. Yeah. Look, look the the small tree there with mm -hmm. the five fingers. That's a cassava. Yeah. Oh, uh -huh. okay. Cassava. Uh -huh. So the leaves are eaten by the silkworm, and uh -huh. the leaves are eaten by. Ah, uh, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and it's actually easy. To when I was, I uh, yes, to yeah, to cut the, the yeah, yes. When I was little, it grow. you but, actually throw it on the soil, it will grow. Yes, when I was little, <laughs> yeah. uh, my grandparents took us to the fields and they made yeah. a row, just this deep. Yeah. And then we had the stems cut in like, like this <laughs> and put this and then with the foot. And then, <laughs> and then, and then after, some some months later, months, yes, actually harvest yes, those. and they. They feed that to the silkworms. I didn't know. Yeah, <laughs> That's I very good. I learned it from here. Ah, very and good. Uh -huh. They're actually from from the silk. They make a thread. It's, it's close. Usually it's close. we just close it, but ah. is it locked? Yeah, it's locked. It's I locked. Know usually it's still open. Ah. And yeah, it's locked. Yeah, so <laughs> they're actually producing this thread to yeah. make it into silk fabrics as well. Okay. So what you're supposed yeah, to say? Yeah, same. What's this? You just have to the brown mold bear boy and such. Yeah, so the uh, different. We can actually go here. I'll ask my classmate later. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. But we, there are silk uh, weaving machine here. Yes, okay. We can see the patterns. They make it into a clothes, wow, a scarf. Wow. So what's the difference? That mm -hmm. uh, you would know that silk fabrics are really expensive, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Because this type of fabric that we can produce from scarf, mm -hmm. from scarf are really adapt adapted to temperature. When it's really hot mm -hmm. and you're wearing a silk cloth, mm -hmm. it actually like feels cooler mm -hmm. and when it's cold it feels warmer mm -hmm. so it uh it adapts on different good, yes. uh, temperature uh -huh. of the environment mm -hmm. so we take care of the silk from eggs yes. to to the moth okay so we don't actually kill them because the common yes you boil them in the mm. thailand yeah, yeah you boil them with colors yeah mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And you actually kill those yeah and that's not sustainable in the philippines actually. so uh -huh. so what we do is we take you wait them. until the moth come out uh no we no? actually count their life cycle that's 45 days ah so during this 30 days they're inside the cocoon already and they're ready to go out okay and turn into a moth so mm -hmm. what we do is we cut the cocoons Mm -hmm. and let them transform into a bot 
adapting to a moth and ah. laid eggs. So okay. the eggs will be the next generation of oh, silkworms. Okay. And the process continues. So, uh -huh. so the farmers okay. are learning how to take care of them and the mm -hmm. mothers are the one weeping. Yeah, and it doesn't matter that you cut, the, the thread is not uh, broken or something? Yeah, because mm -hmm. there is this uh, threading mm -hmm. machine that uh -huh. uh, makes them like continuous. Ah, okay. Ah, so interesting. In uh, in other countries, when they are getreated, yeah. in the cocoon strand, here they sell the tage, and then cut before they slip them, schneid them, they just off and let them the rose, and then uh, uh, fertig entwickeln lassen and they legen them with a new egg. They are yeah. here not getreated. Okay. Yeah, good. that's very good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you can actually see that really. I'll just okay. call my classmate. Okay. He's the one managing this. Ah, okay. <laughs> Very interesting. I didn't know that uh, uh, there are other silk uh, worms uh, existing. I only thought yeah. that's the only uh, who grow with mulberry. Yeah. Uh -huh. But the difference of the silk worm is they don't produce the shiny. Ah, not shiny. Shiny type uh, of worm. But uh, this is really good yes. because you can experiment with different ethnic designs. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Which you can do mm -hmm. with the shiny ones. Okay. Yeah. So the difference is that there, there's no shine, but yeah, yeah but they're, they're really, really good. Okay, yeah, they can the, adapt the temperature. The, mm -hmm. the, the, uh, the side is so cleansing. No, it's cleansing the best with more mulberry bone. Very interesting. Now I learned a new. A new it also good on the here. Mm -hmm. The cooling effect and warming effect yeah. is there. Mm -hmm. That's why they're Very really good. pricey. Mm -hmm. But this the the, the the silk that they produce is actually cheaper than the ones we see in malls. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, really, really crazy. Yeah. There's this silk scarf that I saw in a mall that you can actually buy a house from oh! that price. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. They actually... Ah, and they also weave uh, carpets with, with silk. Chinese, ah. yeah, silk carpet. Yeah, they do and that. They, and they partner with Filipino designers as well. Ah, okay. To produce mm -hmm. different products out of there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ah, very interesting. Okay. That's just four years old, I think. Okay. That's a social enterprise. Toll, what do you have for business and uh, fun uh, hub? Also, oh. also uh, material and the table. Okay. And we we'll actually have uh, inhale some fresh. Uh -huh. fresh. Yeah. <laughs> it's already fresh here. Yeah, yeah it's actually, that's because of the bamboo. Yeah. <laughs> because they produce 20% more oxygen yes. and absorb more carbon dioxide than yes. other trees. Ah, bamboo is good for the yeah, And they're actually the really air. good soil neutralizer. Also. Mm -hmm. And they actually turn it into like metal and bamboo combination mm -hmm. this year because uh -huh. during the rainy season a lightning strike oh and, and then it burned burn the, uh. the thing so like lesson <laughs> learned we don't do that anymore okay we burn the whole thing <laughs> okay so we can actually go up mm -hmm. so this is where we also do camping ah. last last week mm -hmm. we had a group from Baguio mm -hmm. the Kankanai tribe mm -hmm. the boy scouts actually boy scouts to camp, camp here. here okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> with the French company ah okay <laughs> Schneider yeah electric look that sounds good. Yeah, and the kitchen there is actually solar power. Oh. <laughs> I have a friend in Germany who lives not far away from me, and he is a dealer of solar power. And he delivers them all over the world. But most people what's, beat what's the solar name? farms. What's the name? I know the guy and the name of this guy, but not the Yeah, name there's of this <laughs> German guy who's actually partnered with Gawad Kalinga and sells solar panels ah, okay. in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. And the rival of this one. <laughs> so they're the one who put this, and the German company is the one who puts the solar panel in the kitchen. <laughs> in the kitchen. In the kitchen. <laughs> Very <laughs> good. <laughs> 
this is also a very beautiful building. Mm -hmm. Yes, very open. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wow. Okay, mm -hmm. and uh, at the surrounding area? Uh, also, uh, it's actually, mm -hmm. those metals actually come by this bathroom. Ah. Ah, okay. This is inside metal and covered with concrete. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ah. Mm-hmm. Okay. We can go up. Ah, look. There's the fields. Somewhere, no, strawberry. not strawberries, grapes. Uh, grapes. grapes, we have it in Laguna. In Laguna, um, okay, yeah, not okay. okay. It's really hot, here. it's too hot. Here. Even mm -hmm. with people inside the green, like, <laughs> <laughs> okay. yeah. because this is something I would like to try. Oh, there's, there's yeah, it will be difficult. Wine. You need a variety that grows in the tropics. Yeah, um, but so this here are making different wines. Okay. I think, yes, you know that. One of the students actually pitched this idea of making an ube wine. Ube! A uh, ube! Ube wine! Purple yeah. young wine. Maybe try a couple yeah. of wine. Yeah, and a couple of wine we already have. Tuba! Tuba! We already have. Oh yeah, we have that. Uh, we have this big nai wine. This is a wild uh, sour fruit. Ah! 
Pine, that's in Baguio. There's this a pinit, this looks like a wild raspberry Baguio. Ah, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Mia yeah, is actually waiting. Ah, we're getting the wine cup. The mm -hmm. one we had Ah, okay. <laughs> that wine company is actually a part of it. If all of these foods are already available at the a good as a wine, let's mm. make a beer. Oh yeah! Oh! There's actually, if you like drinking beer, craft beer, there are lots in Makati. Uh -huh. Yeah, I work in a tour company, they did this beer called in Makati. <laughs> they are really good craft beer. Uh -huh. And they're experimenting different types of beer. People can actually get it. Later, when you get out. Uh -huh. Okay. So this plush toy here, or the plush toys here, mm -hmm. are handcrafted by the mothers. And they have the their community. names. They have their yes. names. They're named after the local celebrities. Yeah. Of the <laughs> yes. So this one is Mais Ganda. Mais Ganda. <laughs> after Mais Ganda. Mais Ganda. Cook. So this is, and there's something like with a boxer also. Yeah. Huh? Tomatis. Uh -huh. This is Jessica Saging. Jessica Saging. <laughs> Jessica Sanchez. You can uh -huh. actually remove the skin. Oh wow. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> if you want to teach students how to eat. My kids have to yeah. eat vegetables. Uh, okay. Actually, yeah, actually, <laughs> nice. Yeah, this is Antonio Ripollo, named after Tito Tony Melotto. Ah, Antonio Ripollo. Okay. okay. And this is apple, the apple. Uh, <laughs> the carrot. Carrot? What's the name of carrot? What's the name of carrot? Noli de carrot. Ah, uh. Noli de carrot. This was the vice president. <laughs> Eggplant? 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 Oh wow! The eggplant is pantalong. I know, not sure. What's the? This is pantalong. Pantalong. Also, this is okra onar. Okra. Like mga onar. Kaya naranian. This is okra onar. No, okra onar. Isn't it? Yeah, and they also customize uh, plushies. Cook like if the company orders, there are companies like the. Their boot actually in the Toy Kingdom is really good. They make this small farm yeah. with plushies like those. <laughs> Those are still planted. Ah, uh -huh, look. Actually, you will see. Hello. <laughs> They're still planted. <laughs> sure, sure, see. This is not in vain. Their, their, their boot in Toy Kingdom is really like a small farm. They're still planted. The carrots are still growing. <laughs> This is ginger. A ginger. <laughs> Inva. These are dirty. Really good. These are big bananas. Yeah. Oh, nice. You can put it on the, on the child's head. head. <laughs> like, okay. Because the fabric that they're using is not allergenic. Ah, so, very and this good. This is also safe from mm -hmm. uh, uh, kids with asthma. Ah, okay. As you can see, they don't put buttons or other things. No, so in. yeah, you can pull anything from it. So that's very good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Those are their siblings. Uh -huh. <laughs> Okay, it's green energy bulb. You have kids, you want to give. Ah, look! Tarsha! Ah, this is from Bol. His name oh. is Yakapuno or ya Yaku. Or Yapu. Yaku. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. Nice. Ah, uh, nice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We have bamboo now. Ah! Uh-huh. Cook. Mm-hmm. Nice. Oh, and backpack also. Yeah. Is that from here? 
Mani Pakwan. Mani Pakwan. Ya. Pak ya. Pak ya. Mani Pakwan. Nice. Ah. Look. But there's a name also. That's Buko Martin. Aha. Yeah, Buko Martin here. Yeah. Buko Martin. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's used for the coconut milk. But the green one, that's the one that we use for coconut milk. Really good. With that tender, tender meat. Oh, Filipina, Bulana, Bisaya. Oh, wow! So, jetzt haben wir auch eine Zara. Das ist auch, um, ja. There's a lot of foreigners coming here to eat yes. their uh, uh, dinner, bre uh, oh, lunch, we'll breakfast, like that. We'll eat uh, lunch later. Yeah, some, of the, <laughs> some of the foreigners, uh -huh. uh -huh. they have this, like, they have this community parents. Ah, 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 they stay here with you. Ah, okay. Uh, before they arrive in the Philippines, mm -hmm. uh, a community parent is assigned already. Ah, okay. <laughs> we have this Essen geholt. Plastic. Guten Appetit, Schatzi! Danke dir auch. Wir sind fertig mit Essen. Jetzt schauen wir uns noch die Seidenraupen an, die von Cassava-Blättern leben. Und dann sind wir hier fertig. Da, da wow. sind sie! Wow! Do you know that the bigger, biggest butterfly are found in the Philippines? In, uh, how do they look like? They look like this, but a bigger version, like Mar they call it mar mariposa. Mariposa, yes, yeah, this I know that. This, this big. big, yeah, and yeah. they they live on guavanos. Yeah. Uh, Guava, the, guayabano. Guayabanos, yes, we, I saw that already yeah. when I was little. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that, yeah. that's quite. Wow, yeah. so oh, they, they are already die. I think they laid the eggs. Ah, oh, these okay. are their eggs. Ah. Yeah, before they die, because they only live for 45 days, ah. that's their cycle. And then they uh, lay their eggs and you yeah, and then, you collect them yeah, and, and then the, put them in, yeah, in, in another, another box leaves, another and then they'll become a small worm, smaller mm -hmm. worm. Mm -hmm. so. And then they make these cocoons. Yeah. Some mm -hmm. of the dead uh, silkworm are being fed to the chicken, ah. the native chicken. Okay. Yeah, free range. Oh, Oh, and here are the oh here are big la uh, larvae. Oh, no, oh yeah, these no. are one escaped. Oh, hello. Hello, you. Wanna, why are you I escaping? I want to touch this. Actually, I might hurt mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. So I have to be careful. But they mm -hmm. just like roam around. They don't mm -hmm. go far mm -hmm. because they'll be hungry. Look, yeah. and the leaves are already already digested. Yeah. Yeah, Maybe these are done. their poops. These are fertilizers. Oh, okay. The vermicompost. Wow. Yeah, this is really a high-valued fertilizer, but mm -hmm. we just send them to the farmers. Mm -hmm. oh, here are oh, some outside of the Ah, yeah. here more. They, yeah. they escaped. Yeah, when they smell the cassava leaves, the first oh. cassava leaves, they go inside. Okay. Because there are little holes here. <laughs> yes, they are here. <laughs> I don't know if they can eat metals. <laughs> That's why we have holes. Where does this hole came from? Look at this. Oh, they're beautiful. Yeah. They're... Oh, and then after that, uh, mm -hmm. we'll get the cocoon like this. Yes. We cut it in the middle so that the... The, the mud can escape? The, the mud. Mm -hmm. the, the worm inside are the... Uh -huh. The, the next mother. Uh -huh. That will be... Mm -hmm. 
from a moth and mm -hmm. laid eggs. After they lay eggs, they will And die. how you get the uh, uh, thread from that? Ah, mm -hmm. there's this machine. But mm -hmm. uh, we, this, uh, this cocoon, we send mm -hmm. them to Thailand Ooh. for a while because we don't have the machine. Because that's the industrial machine. Oh. But if you want to make it manually, mm -hmm. put it here. So ah, okay. The thread is here. Is mm -hmm. and then you have to make it like... Ah, yeah, the one is like spinning. Beauty. Yeah, spinning. Yeah, spinning wheel. Spinning machine. You, you mm -hmm. know, my dad, he learned the profession of how to make with the wood yeah. this kind. And uh, when he finished to learn his profession, the last part he made was a spinning wheel yeah. mm -hmm. for a sheep wall. Oh, for sheep, sheep wool. wool. Mm -hmm. This wow. size. Wow. And then he gave this to his mom. And his mom used that to make a sheep ball mm -hmm. and, and spin the sheep ball mm -hmm. and make pullovers, a, a sweatshirt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a very expensive yeah, one. Nice. Yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. Very expensive job. She made it for her, her yeah. sons and for her daughter. Yeah. For her <laughs> and, um, so this is the cuckoo. My dad, when my, mom, mm -hmm. when my, when my grandma mm -hmm. died, mm -hmm. he got back this, this spin wheel and repaired it, made it fresh and new and so on. And I had it for some time, but I give him back because I you moved, moved mm. and uh, moved again. And mm -hmm. yeah. so I, have to, I had to give him back and now it's at my dad. Wow. Back. <laughs> That's back to the rules, yeah. But this is this high. Mm -hmm. and you oh, yeah. yeah, yes, yes. Yeah, we have the, the manual. <laughs> uh, we have that sewing machine, the man. Yeah. Like my grandmother used to have. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. my grandmother did that. <laughs> my mother grew up hearing the sound of that machine. Mm -hmm. And here you can be, uh, make wider cloths. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, that's beautiful in blue. Yeah, but this mm -hmm. is really difficult, like, done driving. There are four <laughs> pedals. Four pedals, they yeah, for the different... You have mm -hmm. to hold the sticks, different mm -hmm. sticks, mm -hmm. like that, and mm -hmm. then... You have to make sure that the pattern is... Ah, okay. Very nice. Wow. Right. Mm -hmm. And then, mm -hmm. um, when, 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 when you get it back, it's white, and then you color it. Yeah. In mm -hmm. different colors. Yeah, in Thailand, the machine that they have there, we have, they have part, partners in Thailand. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so it will That's be where they here. got the every silkworm. Okay, mm -hmm. and it gets, be, it, it gets colored in color as well. You yeah, it, that's faster red, there because they have huge color. machines. So mm -hmm. they color it like that. So they send mm -hmm. this and then they, it will turn into that. Ah, look, there are the threads. So these are mm -hmm. the threads. As you can mm -hmm. see, this is not Chinese. Mm -hmm. But this is big. Mm -hmm. Wow. In China, they boil it together with the silkworm inside. Oi, mm -hmm. okay, yeah. So they mm -hmm. killed the worm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Schön. Schön. Mm -hmm. Sehr schön. Wonderful. Mm-hmm. Interesting to see. Yeah. And they can live with, with cassava leaves. I didn't yeah, know that. Yeah, they eat a lot. They eat a <laughs> lot of cassava, well cassava leaves. Yeah. Nice. They eat twice a day. <laughs> twice a day. So we, we make Look. Yeah. Yeah. But there are seasons that they're, they're really hungry, so you have yes. to watch out, like, to make sure that there's food always. Mm -hmm. So this and is after, what they do if they don't have food, they go out. They go out, okay. And uh, when do they start to make the cocoon? After, after, after how many days? I'm not really sure, but it's around the 30th day. Okay. 20 to 30th day, that's ah. mm -hmm. Yeah, because they'll be mm -hmm. starting to be come a moth after. Yeah. Look, so and here much more, more bigger. The moth to leave and leave. Mm -hmm. Here they are much more bigger here oh, in yeah. this basket. Mm -hmm. And they eat a lot because they'll be producing a cocoon soon. Mm -hmm. Look. This is it. Wow. So they are soon big enough to make a cocoon. Wow. Okay. There are more. Wow. Yeah. Very interesting. Mm. <laughs> Very cute. Yeah. 
Oh, the mariposa. Yeah. The mariposa larva looks like this as well, but bigger like this. Yeah, and green. Green and green and, and with green. those horns. Yeah, with the yeah. Horn. With and with, with and with black dots yeah. in the side. Yeah, it looks yes. like unicorn. Yeah. <laughs> I know Weird. those. It's really cute. Like, I usually hold it in my hands and scare my <laughs> Nice. Mm -hmm. So these are the products. Ah, oh, also for, for bands. Mm -hmm. Nice. This is there. Ah, look. Oh, and there's the cassava also leaves. cassava Ooh. leaves <laughs> and the larvae. <Square>. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> ah, look, also from the plush. Yeah, the plush, mm -hmm. play the one. plush and play. Mm -hmm. Nice. <laughs> oh, these are headbands. Headbands. Ah, here's a. Here's a. Silk and Dreams. They've been featured mm -hmm. in TV. Mm-hmm. There's an article. So he started this? Yeah, he's, uh -huh. he, he's mm -hmm. the one who started this. Mm-hmm. This is my classmate. He's the one managing this. Now. Ah, okay. <coughs> Silk <coughs> business. Yeah, nice. Mm -hmm. uh, this is one of the designers. Ah, mm -hmm. okay. What is this? Uh, so they just show the design ah, of the expat yeah, lava. of the textiles. Okay, mm -hmm. very nice. But now they're making the designers who make. Ah, uh, look, bow tie, uh -huh. bow tie, bags. Uh huh. They matched it with leather bags. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. Ant Hill is also a social enterprise. Ah. But they produce different fabrics, so they partner with them as well. Mm hmm. Yeah, but oh. they work with the tribal Every community. silk stole. Hand woven natural dye, dry clean only. Okay. Nice. Good. Okay. Yeah. Very, very interesting. Yeah. <laughs> very good. Okay. Now we learned that there is...